So for this fun video tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this adorable bow, crochet bow, and it's perfect for adding to your favorite hat or to your favorite amigurumi. Now if you like this hat that I made, I have two different video tutorials. One is one of my older video tutorials where I show you how to make a crochet super quick and easy beginner adult beanie. And then I have a new video tutorial that will show you how to add this fun ribbed portion for the bottom of the beanie that you can use to attach to any of your fun crochet hats. So I have a separate video tutorial for that. And then now you have this video tutorial which will show you how to make this adorable bow. For this video tutorial, you're going to need your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook as well as a tapestry needle or darning needle and a pair of scissors. You can use whatever fun yarn that you want. I used Red Heart Super Saver and this is just a light blue colored yarn that I had in my stash. So the first thing you're going to do is take your yarn and you're going to fold it over on itself to form a loop. Then take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. And then you're just going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down, cinch the loop around your crochet hook. Now we're going to make a chain of 20. I'm just going to show you four of them to get you started. One, two, three, Four. So go ahead, finish a chain of 20, and then come back. So now, after you have your chain of 20, you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So you just count back. One, two. Go into that second chain from the hook, bring up a loop, and then make a single crochet. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. So you go into the next stitch, bring up a loop and then make a single crochet. Then you're going to make one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a half double crochet. Then you're going to make one more half double crochet into the next stitch. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, and make a half double crochet. Then you're going to make two double crochet into the uh, one double crochet into the next two stitches. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two, two loops remaining, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two. So then you're going to make one more double crochet into the next stitch, and now we're going to make one treble crochet into the next seven stitches. So you yarn over twice, Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, you have four loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two to complete a treble crochet. So we're going to make six more, yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. You just completed a treble crochet stitch. So I'm going to make one more with you and then I'll let you finish. So this is my third treble crochet. And you need a total of seven. So one treble into a total of seven stitches and then come back. So this is how my work looks so far. So now I'm going to make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So 
and then one half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then one single crochet into the last two stitches. So now you're going to take and make sure that your work is not twisted and then you're going to take and make a slip stitch into the opposite side. So take your crochet hook into the opposite side and then you're just going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're just going to yarn over and then pull enough yarn through to help sew. this portion to the next portion. So now you're just going to take and use your loose yarn, your tapestry needle for the other loose yarn end and then just kind of sew it to the opposite side and then just kind of bury it on the wrong side. So now you need two of these. They're made the exact same way, except for one, I left a longer loose yarn end for sewing, and then the other one, you need an even longer loose yarn end that you're gonna to use to wrap around the center of the bow. So then, after you finish both of them, we're going to sew them together. So now, you can tell that there's two different sides to the bow. You have this side here, and then I chose this as my wrong side. So you can decide which side you want as your right side. I like this side as my right side. Then, make sure that both of them have the right side facing up. And then, on the shorter loose yarn then that you left for sewing, you're just going to take and center it on the opposite bow that you bow portion that you made and then you're just going to sew the ends together so just go right on the opposite side make sure that you have it centered right sides up and then center the middle of the bow and then you're just going to sew the two, the, it's about three stitches, the top, the middle, and the bottom. You're just going to grab a stitch on both and then just kind of sew them together. And then you want to leave the long end that you're going to wrap around the center off to the side. So you can see how I sewed the center, the top, and the bottom stitch of the two sides together. Then you can take and tie a knot to the other long loose yarn end that you had. And then take this loose yarn end that you used for sewing and then take it towards the back of the bow and then just kind of bury it along the back of the bow. I'm just going to go through a couple times. Make sure it's nice and buried. Then you can take and trim that portion. So the top portion of the bow is finished. Now we need to make the bottom portion of the bow. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're going to take the yarn and we're going to make our slip knot, so fold it over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down, cinch the loop around your crochet hook. Then you're going to make a chain of 20. I'm just going to show you four on video tutorial. Yarn over and go through the loop for one, two, three, 
four. So go ahead, finish your chain of 20, and then come back. So now I have a chain of 20, and now we're going to make a treble crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So you count back one, two, three, four, and we're going to make a treble crochet into that fourth chain from the hook. So you yarn over twice, go into the fourth chain from the hook, bring up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, go through two, three loops remaining, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two, two loops remaining, yarn over and go through the two remaining loops to complete a treble. So now we're going to need one double crochet into the next two stitches, yarn over, go into the next stitch, make a double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch and make a double crochet, and now we're going to make one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, make a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, and make a half double crochet. So now you're going to make one single crochet into the next six stitches. So bring up a loop and make a single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we're going to make one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a half double crochet. Now we're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. and then you should have two remaining stitches and you're going to make one treble crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. So yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. Make one more treble in the last stitch Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to bury your loose yarn end into your work. So go ahead and bury your loose yarn ends. So you just take your tapestry needle and then I bury my loose yarn end on the wrong side. So I'm using this as my right side and this side as my wrong side. So I'm just going to weave it into the treble stitch. I like to go back across. And then you can trim the loose yarn in. So go ahead, bury your loose yarn ends and trim them. So now I have the right side facing up for our bow. I have my tapestry needle onto that long end that we left. For wrapping around the center of the bow. We're going to use that before we wrap it around the bow, we're going to use it to help sew this last piece on. So then now what you're going to do is just take and fold that last piece in half, find the center, and then make sure you have the right side facing up, and then you're going to take your tapestry needle and then just sew it to the main portion of the bow. You just need a couple stitches. Then you can take, remove the tapestry needle, and then just finish wrapping 
this, that long end that you left for sewing around the center of the bow. And then you can shape your bow as you wrap around the center. Make sure that you leave enough yarn for tying a knot on the back of the bow and for sewing onto whatever crochet project that you have. So now you just kind of shape your bow Then you can take on the back, once you have it wrapped how you like it, make sure it's nice and tight. Then you can take on the back of the bow, you just take your tapestry needle, put it onto the end of that, oops, make sure you don't, uh, mess up the thread. Then you can take and just tie a knot on the back of the bow. So you just take and weave the loose yarn end. Make sure it's not too loose. You don't want your center of your bow to be loose. And then just weave it through the back. And then you can take and tie a knot on the back of the bow. I like to go through twice for the knot. And then after you finish tying your knot, you can bury your loose, the loose yarn end by going through. And then I use this long end for sewing. So now you can sew it to whatever project that you want. You just go back and shape your bow. And then you have your gorgeous bow for sewing onto your project. And this is my bow that I have sewn on to my hat.